that you did a good job. Did you get some x-rays? You did so good, Bootsy. So you gotta breathe. Okay, the time has come to head to the vet. Good morning, you guys. Good Early in the morning. morning. My day started at 6.20 this morning and I decided not to fall back to sleep because I knew we'd have to leave early. Anyway, so I gave myself plenty of time to wake up and then I took coffee up to Peter. I don't think he was super happy that I was waking him up. <laughs> Do you know about my tactic to, to gently wake you up the handful of times it's ever happened? You cough? No. Or what? I did like... <sighs> oh, that's what it was. Because I don't want to like startle you. Okay. I mean, sometimes it happens where I just cough because that's what's happening at the moment. But yeah. anyway, um, we are all awake now. I sat on the floor. Ollie um, was down on the floor when I came down this morning laying on his bed. And I sat down there with him and rubbed his ribs. Well, <laughs> uh, whatever. I was like scratching his back and stuff. And um, while I read my Bible study and just like sat there with him for a while. So we're taking him to the vet because a few days ago he started limping again. So we took him to the vet the next day and they suspect that it is arthritis in his shoulders. His hips are totally fine, but his shoulders seem to be showing early signs of arthritis. So doing x-rays today so that we can make a treatment plan for, um, there's a bunch of different options thankfully for arthritis, but um, it'll also show us kind of how how bad it is or whatever. It'll bring clarity to the situation. So Peter was pretty nervous uh, the last few days about Ollie going and I thought I was doing fine. And then like last night I realized, okay, I'm like pretty nervous about this. They probably will have to give him some sedation, like light sedation, because one of the x-rays they need, he'll be on his back with his arms above his head. That's not comfortable even if you don't have arthritis, so they, they want to make sure that he's as least agitated as possible, and so I appreciate that. All right, we got to take him and then... We're actually dropping him off. I think we'll find out, but they said we'll probably just have you drop him off and come back for him in a little bit. So we'll see. Towel, so it smells like our house. And let's go. Oh, this pole smells so good. This brick pillar here. Good thing we came 15 minutes early. Does that smell good? Oliver. I'll let them know that you guys are here. They'll be up for you shortly. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Oliver, I'll check the perimeter for you. Go better hurry. Oh, wow, this is quite the angle. I was fine until we got out to the car. <sighs> I'm really thankful that it's only x-rays because it would be really, really scary, but we would handle it if it was a big surgery or something. But for today, it's just x-rays, and so I'm trying to not be too sad. But he obviously doesn't like being taken away and I don't like it either. Dog food. Best way to distract ourselves, get the things we need like dog food and of course go pick out a new barn animal for Wesley. <laughs> That'll distract me. A giraffe it is. Every barn needs a giraffe. Uh, go get the bonesy. Hmm. 
Go. Oh, good. Go yeah, let's go better hurry. Go better hurry. Where are you going? Do you want to go in the house? Are we ready? Or are you just going to enjoy the sunshine? I don't blame you. We can lay out here. Do you want to lay out here? We could bring a bed out here. exactly where we laid this morning this is where we'll be for the next few hours okay so basically what they saw was what she expected um, and then some so basically he has the start of arthritis in his shoulders and a little bit in his elbows and then in where the neck connects to the spine i i forget what the word was but basically arthritis so what does this mean for ollie um well right now obviously he's totally out of it but that's just because they needed to get those x-rays which meant sleepy drugs so that he would be able to do what he needed to do so he's super sleepy right now but this is just going to wear off in a couple of hours but basically what the doctor wants is to make sure we have pain control and so she wants him to start on CBD oil um, it does not have THC in it so it's not going to mess with his mind or his state of mind at all um, it'll it'll offer pain control the hope is that that will work great for him if that doesn't work there are other things up the pipeline or whatever like down the road that we can add and we can try but for now we're going to stick with he's already on cosequin which is a joint supplement uh we started it preventatively a couple of years ago and so she wants us to continue that and he's on salmon oil and the cosequin and now we'll add the cbd oil and then down the road if he's still limping basically she said for him, you'll probably see more of, because he's not limping consistently, 
what she wants to see is that he's more perky. Um, so she said probably more like personality and energy wise. That's where we'll see if there are improvements in the next couple of weeks. She said with her dog, she, her dog has a similar like shoulder arthritis thing and her dog felt started to feel better on the CBD oil within a couple of days. So, um, it's like vertex. <laughs> We are the same person, are we? Um, and so I'm glad that there are options. And so things like the anti-inflammatories and that sort of thing can put more stress on, I think, the kidneys. It's either the kidneys or the liver. Of course, for humans, it's the same. And so we would, that's kind of like down the line. If we need to, we can do daily anti-inflammatory medication and there's a bunch of other things. So, but for now, we're gonna try the first step and then we, we talked about exercise and we talked about working and all of that. And she said at this point, it's good for his joints to keep going. He needs that consistent exercise. She said walking while he's working is like perfect for his joints at this point. She talked more in depth about things that he should and shouldn't be doing during work but he she said at this point it is going to be ideal for him to keep working on the days that it makes sense for him so we talked through all of that we feel you know of course it's all unknown at this point but it's just going to be like we always have to do in life is take it one day at a time and figure it out as we go and i'm really thankful that she now knows exactly what's going on inside of him so that she can make educated recommendations to us as we move forward for pain control for how much activity he does and all of that yep. so it went well when they called us so we went and got coffee and we were going to sit down and just basically burn time until they called us and we like got the coffee and the bagel and then she called me so um we ended up just zooming out of panera and just going to get him but um she was talking and she was like telling me about the arthritis in his shoulders which is really interesting his right shoulder is worse than his left but it was the left that he was limping and so it, it all kind of can contribute. Thankfully, she has worked with other working dogs before and faced these sort of questions because, you know, we mentioned this. If you haven't watched the video about is Ollie gonna retire, we talked a little bit more about when service dogs retire, it's ideal if you can kind of wean them off of working because they do love it and they are used to it. And so cold turkey just stopping is not ideal and thankfully at this point from what the doctor said he is good to keep working uh, following the you know watching for the signs that we know to watch for so at this point um you'll probably see him working sometimes and not working other times and yeah. it's it's all just going to depend on the day and also we talked about this in the other video it's so crazy this timing like Ali and I are very well coordinated in our bodies. Like we joke that we're the same person, him and I. They like poop at the same time. They both like forget to eat at the same time. They remember to eat at the same time. And he is nearing a time where we're gonna be kind of starting to, there are going to be days where he can't work or shouldn't work yeah. and there are days that I am going to be doing so well that I'm okay. Like, I'm not having all those hard coughing fits, and so it's the right time to do this. It all just works out. So, and if you haven't watched the service dog Q&A before, if you have more questions about Oliver in particular, um, you can watch the service dog Q&A, and we have a couple of different service dog videos you could watch. And There's links yeah. down in the description and uh, we're just gonna hang out with Ollie. I got some work to get done and uh, Here can you show how we'll, sweet he is? We'll just have a, a rest day for today, but He is very sweet as always We'll see you tomorrow Good night, Good night Ollie boy